hello, 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 guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Double double Bubbles, to episode of Big Brand Fairy. Also, do welcome back to Jax React, guys. If you're new, my name is Jax. In this channel at the moment, what we were reacting to, Big Brand Fairy and Ted Lasso. We started this channel, what, six, 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 we've got seven months now. It's really going great because we are building a good community up in there, guys. If it feels like you want to be part of the community, please do subscribe to the channel. And also, guys, for those who have been this journey with me, and I'm very thankful, of course, I'm very, very, thank you, thank you very much. Next Friday, I'll be launching membership scheme, guys. If you want to support me forever for us to keep going this and doing this with equipment wise and do this full time, you know, you can be like, you know, thank you, thank you, gift. That is a one pound and wait a month or whatever, whatever the fee there may be. And also, if you do have any feedback, anything you want, you would like me to add on the Thai um, membership. Um, you know, example like you know, voting for our next reactions and things like after we finish Big Bang Ferry and Ted, tell us so be part of that, be part of it. Like, you know, we're gonna be doing some voting and what's next, what we'll be reacting next, and stuff like that. You know, you know, hang up behind the scenes and uncut um, reactions and things like that. You know, thank you very much. And yeah, today's like I said, today, today's episode 10 and 11. Um, last release was three episode, guys, which I really enjoyed it. So, I don't know if this is gonna be one. Of this episode. Let's go. Uh, you're the doctor, but I'm constantly hearing this annoying sound. <laughs> Me too. Shelly. <laughs> Is it a high frequency whistle? No, it's more of a relentless narcissistic drum. Oh. Yep, there's no inflammation at all, Sheldon. Then it must be a tumor. No, wait, what? Maybe it's a lingering bacterial infection from all those childhood toilets. <laughs> Is that possible? I used to get those. All no, the time. he's taking the mic. I mean, even in church. Why does that to be a different if, church? If from a swirly, there's something I can do. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you have a cootie shot. No, no, man. She's taking the mic off. Shelly. <laughs> she moved in, it's huh? It's not enough that she mocks me, but that isn't even the correct procedure for a cootie shot. <laughs> <laughs> understand that Stephanie's not here to treat your imaginary ailments. I keep hearing an octave above middle C. Really? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Good night. Leonard, there's one more thing. No, you're not. Leonard moves the meeting, not occur. Is there a second? Not None. heard, the motion fails. <laughs> I'd like to begin the meeting by congratulating you on the progress in your relationship with Dr. Stephanie. Okay. And that being said, we have to discuss the implementation of the agreed upon cohabitation. We're not living together. I beg to disagree. You are, bro. A girlfriend shall be deemed, quote, living with, unquote, Leonard, when consecutive nights, or B, more than nine nights in a three week period, or C, all the. <laughs> really? Even three week nights? That's absurd. <laughs> You initialed it, see? L H L. <laughs> you can't deny that. I only initialed it because I never thought it would happen. <laughs> That's what you let it. Another clause naming you my sidekick in case I get superpower. Yes, you did. did. Now, <laughs> to review, the following provisions are hereby act. As opposed to us having two separate shelves and one communal shelf, the three of us now get individual. Next, apartment vacuuming shall be increased from two to three times a week to a comp third. Really? What? Schedule. Now, I'm given to understand women have different needs. They do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going, going to bed. bed. But <laughs> Take this with you. Look, and have Stephanie initial here, here, no. here, here, and she does not now, nor does she intend to play a percussive or brass instrument. We are, wow, wow. <laughs> Absolutely not. What, what are you trying to do? No matter what the symptoms are, my girlfriend is not going to give you a prostate no. exam. No. Children, children, come on. Huh? Good morning, Dr. Stephanie. I trust Leonard satisfied you sexually last night. Oh. Sheldon, we don't ask questions like that. No. I heard you ask it over and over. Well, Shelly! How is it inappropriate for me to ask it once? He doesn't get it. But see, she's not offended. And now you finally have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 the wrong time, bro, wrong time. Hey, Stephanie, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 you are? Honey, I live across the hall. Awkward. I, really? I share nothing about I you. I haven't bro. heard a thing about you. You know. I was in trouble. Leonard, why haven't I heard a thing about this woman who lives across the hall? Dressed like that. Herman in the morning <laughs> in her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Uh, 
uh, she's heard about you because we're, you know, involved. involved. And, and you haven't heard about her because... Uh-oh, uh-oh. You I never f- slept with her, I swear. <laughs> In Leonard's defense, it wasn't for lack of trying. <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. You're welcome, Leonard. Oh, Shelly. Look, I- I'm just saying, um, Penny is one of our many neighbors, you know? And- Many, you know. Neighbors, come and go. Oh, it's very casual, no dress code. <laughs> I'll just mosey down to the third floor in my pajamas and have cereal with Mrs. Vardabedian. <laughs> really? Well, I've never once been invited to have cereal with Mrs. But I'll fish you actually, bro. She doesn't like you. Okay, well. <laughs> what can I possibly have done to offend Mrs. Vardabedian? <laughs> you still on that? Oh, that's Stephanie, huh? Why do I feel like I'm the one that just got the prostate exam? <laughs> With my gloves on. Yeah, she seems very nice. Oh, she is. She's terrific. Yeah, oh. she's proving to be a valuable roommate. Uh. Roommate? You guys are living together? Like hippies. Not living together. Do I have to pull out the paperwork again? We're not living you are, together. Bro. You are. are you sh- Every woman knows this, but most men don't know this. Don't you think if a woman was living with me, I'd be the first one to know about <laughs> it? Oh, sweetie, you'd be the last one to know about it. <laughs> hmm. Why Penny go to step like this, dress like this, bro? We're not living together. Okay. Hmm, scented candles, by floral bed sheets. Yeah, that's woman stuff, bro. Uh, who are these guys at Disney World? I bet he doesn't know <laughs> A couple with the mouse ears, I have no idea. <laughs> We're not living together. No, you are, bro. You're gonna go down swinging, huh? In your InStyle magazine, your jewelry box. We're not. Where's my bat signal? <laughs> oh my god, we're living together. <laughs> really? What was your first clue? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh no. New pants? Yeah. Stephanie got them for me. Nice. Cotton? Actually, I think it's more of a wool fire ant blend. In fact, I. Gave it a lot of thought. I decided it was time. No, to bro. Together. You have no sale in that, bro. Huge mistake. There's a whole buffet of women out. <laughs> Which it seemed like you can't get any. Same deviled egg over and over again. At least I have an egg. What do you have? <laughs> a board of potential sexual partners. I can hit on her and you can't. So go ahead, hit on her. <laughs> She's not my type. Oh, you're yeah, right. Too bad, because she was checking you out before. Was? Of course not. Look at her. Yeah, Raj. Raj got a few jokes in her. Guys, thanks. Stephanie and I are very happy living together. I will give either of you $20 right now to trade pants with me. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, why are you there? 130 over 80. We can attribute that to the stress of sneaking past the security desk. Where did you get the stethoscope and the blood pressure cuff? My Aunt Marion gave them to me for my 12th birthday. She thought if I failed at theoretical physics that I should have a trade to fall back on. <laughs> no fifth there. And by the way, the blood pressure cuff is called a sphygmomanometer. Didn't they teach you that in medical school? Oh, guys. I'm kind of busy here, Sheldon. I understand. All I need is for you to authorize these tests. Can I at least have the upper GI? <laughs> I already drank the barium. <laughs> Oh, good. Do you have any fabric softener? Oh, no, he's gonna pull all of them. <laughs> he's gonna pull all of them right now. What are you washing? A crocodile? Pants that Stephanie got me. Sweetie, you can't machine wash these. They'll be ruined. You sure? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, no. I wish you told me that sooner. Yes, you did, bro. Are you guys having problems? No, everything's fine. Really? Yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, maybe this whole living together happened kind of suddenly, but it's fine. It's great. Leonard, honey, you know, if you're uncomfortable with the way things are going, you're allowed to say something. That's right. You sure that doesn't sound right? (laughs) Her feelings are just as important as hers. Penny, be careful what you say, though. You can get easily get in trouble up in there, bro. Yeah, I could say something like that to her. You have a really good grasp on this. Maybe you could talk to her? <laughs> really? No, but that's okay. He wasn't kidding. Let's be honest. I'll go talk to her. <laughs> Wanna come with? He's not looking forward to that at all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What? Right, your larynx is terribly inflamed. I mean, I've never seen anything She's playing by with you, man. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> You're gonna need to stop talking immediately. Oh, really? 
for how long she. Mustafa, you're bad, you know. I want to see how this goes, you know. I just performed a sheldonectomy. <laughs> Listen, we need to talk. Uh oh. No one likes to do that, especially men. Kurt, do we need to talk? I don't know what that means. Remember, he's a nerd, bro. Why don't you just tell me what it is you have to tell me? Look, it's just that between you and me have been going pretty quick. It's just and? a little scary. Yeah, but scary good, right? Nah, I think she's had your insecurity there, bro. And it's scary not good. Okay, um, I have feelings, right? Uh-huh. Okay, and it's perfect. Uh-huh. Honey, why don't you tell me what it is you're feeling? Okay, well, I just I think it's important to remember that we at a pace that is our speed. And what are you trying to say, bro? I don't know what you trying to say. You did it, bro. How about this? How about I tell you what I'm feeling? What's that? Wait, but uh, wait, wait a minute. Oh no! Really? Right now? <laughs> I just ate. Aren't you supposed to wait an hour? <laughs> That's for swimming. Hope I don't get cramps. Yeah, yeah I think she's hiding <laughs> cramps in it. Hey. Hey. So, how did the talk with Stephanie go? Well, um, on one level, really. You had sex, bro. You had sex, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, a little bit. <laughs> What? You Nothing. should check the time. <laughs> that long you lasted, bro. Okay, well, it sounds like things are gonna work out. Okay, here's the thing. I'm afraid that if I ask her to move out, she'll just dump me. Well, it's a chance you have to take. I mean, look, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Very comforting. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say to her? I don't know. I mean, what have women said to you when they wanted to slow a relationship down? I really like you, but I want to see how things go with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll slow it down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I totally interrupted you. What were you saying? Yeah, right. Oh. I can sense some insecurity on her part, too. So, Stephanie, here's the thing. I really like you. Oh, oh no, God. this speech. <laughs> it, is, it happened to her before. What speech? I really like you, but maybe we should spend a little less time to you on Tuesday and then you never call me, so I call you, run into you at the coffee shop, you pretend like you've been having problems with your voice. <laughs> That's cold. That's cold. <laughs> Even though I'm dying inside. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Uh, I wasn't going to say any of that. I, I was oh. just going to say... I really like you. <laughs> yeah, he, he flopped. Because I really like you too. He flopped again, man. Terrific. <laughs> oh no. Big Ben? Hey, nice sweater. <laughs> Stephanie got a no, funny. No. Got a big boat on it, dude. You know, if you can't talk to her, why don't you just text her? Isn't that kind of cowardly? Oh yeah, it's beyond contempt. <laughs> That's true. But on the other hand, you are wearing a bird sweater. <laughs> That's true. If you can talk to her, text. At least you oh. try. There. It's done. This going to be about sex again, you. man. Yeah. Good for me. I'll never have sex again. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. See ya. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <sighs> Sheldon. This sound like the, 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 the smart guy with uh, in the wheelchair, isn't it? <laughs> okay. We are out of verbal key. Do you have any? <laughs> Do you have any? Okay, let me check. Some Heine would be nice. Heine? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Like what? I don't know, Kryptonian mustard. Yeah. I think we can safely assume that all Kryptonian condiments were destroyed when the planet Krypt- All it done into mustard kryptonite. Raj, please, let's stay serious here. <laughs> Body is Kryptonian, therefore his sweat is Kryptonian. Yeah, what about Kryptonian pit stain? You cannot have those arguments against Shirley, Sh Sh man. You'll find something. Okay, he's invited for dinner in the Bottle City. Enters the city where he loses his superpowers. Now, before dinner, his hoder man says, sure, works up a sweat, comes back to Earth, his uniform now stained with indestructible- You gotta find something. He's gonna find something else. Booyah. <laughs> He's gonna find something else. Superman would have taken his uniform to a Kandorian dry cleaner before he left the bottle. There you go. Kandorian dry cleaner. I give up. You can't have a rational argument. You can't. Isn't that the guy who won the MacArthur Genius Grant last year? Not all at once. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rod. <right. laughs> Look at you in this position. 
Good luck. Can I go again? No. It's David Underhill, so what? Okay. His observation of high energy positrons has provided the first conclusive evidence for the existence of galactic Two words for you. The first is big, the other's whoop. whoop. Big whoop. It is a big whoop. <laughs> you've done since you've been here completely oh, useless. Oh, no. Did two. Did. Okay, maybe so. <laughs> the guy was just in the right place at the right time with the right paradigm shifting reinterpretation of the universe. He got lucky. He's a very handsome man. He didn't do anything for me. If I was going to go that way, I'm more of a Zach Efron. <laughs> Like you have a shot with Zac Efron. <laughs> Shut down. Are you Leonard Hofstetter? Uh, yeah. I'm David Underhill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Gablehauser said if I wanted to set something up in the photo multiplier lab that you'd be able to give me a hand. You want to work with me? Well, if you have a little time, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, Look at him now. Home number. There's my cell. Who's that hypocrite, bro? Who's <laughs> that they always know how to reach me. Bye bye. April Grip, bro. April Grip. <laughs> what are you looking at? You've never seen a hypocrite before. There you go. <laughs> Trailing badly. Oh All my days. You are taking if you game night serious, bro. Cooper frame with a career best 68. <laughs> oh. Shelly, man. Hey, <laughs> do-overs in wee bowling <laughs> always do-overs when my people play sport my people where were you that's more important than wee bowling night oracle question there is nothing more important than wee bowling <laughs> come on it's just a video game and we suck at it nice motivational speech from, from the, the captain. Team captain i was working with dave underhill dave sounds like leonard's got a new bff <laughs> bff he's pretty cool i mean not only is he a brilliant scientist but it turns out he's a black diamond skier he plays in a rock band so we're in a rock band. No, no not in real life. We play rock band on our Xbox. <laughs> nice motivational speech from our lead guitarist. Mm. Of Stephen Hawking having phone sets. <laughs> what are you wearing? Okay. That's not. He does it better. <laughs> Humongous man crush, dude. Yep, it's officially a bromance. Hey, Sheldon, are you and Leonard putting up a Christmas tree? Because we don't celebrate the ancient pagan festival of Saturnalia. That's right. Saturnalia? No, don't ask him, Gather no. round, kids. It's time for <laughs> Sheldon's beloved Christmas special. The Christian era, as the winter solstice approached and the plants died, intended to guard the life essences of the plants until spring. Pendula, I made a mistake. Eventually, it becomes the so-called Christmas tree. And that, Charlie Brown, is what boredom is all about. Okay, well, thank you for that, but I got you and Leonard a few silly neighbor gifts, so I'll just put them under my tree. You bought me a present? Uh oh, Shell is gonna go in. What's your thing? That's a belief in present. I don't know, because it's Christmas? No, oh, Penny. The foundation of gift giving is reciprocity. You've given me an obligation. He's right, though. He's right. At Penny, it's a classic rookie mistake. My first Hanukkah with Sheldon, he yelled at me for eight nights. Eight nights. Uh, honey, it's okay. You don't have to get me anything in return. But of course I do. The essence of the custom is that I now have to go out and purchase for you a gift of. Is that represented by the gift you've given me? I wonder suicide rates skyrocket. At this time of year. He's gonna put it by the suicide um, rights. You a present? No, he's too late. I see it. That elf sticker says to Sheldon. The, the die has been cast. The moving finger has writ. Hannibal has crossed the Alps. It's gonna fire him. Okay. I know it's funny when it's not happening to us. <laughs> Sheldon, I am very, very sorry. You no, know, no. I brought this on myself by being such an endearing and important part of your life. Oh, no. I'm going to need a ride to the mall. It's happening to you guys now. It's happening to us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me try out your motorcycle. You barely probably didn't even try it. I had no idea it was so heavy. Yeah, lucky for you, it wasn't moving. <laughs> oh, hey, Leonard. Ooh, are you okay? Oh, yeah. It's just a... oh, God, how fast were you going? I don't know. It's all such a blur. Good one. He couldn't even get it started. <laughs> Dave. Hi. Hey, Penny, your motorcycle? Uh huh. Oh, is it okay? Aww. Uh. Lucky for the bike, it landed on my leg. <laughs> so, um, Dave, how do you know Leonard? I'm a physicist. <laughs> now here. <laughs> Why is that so surprising? Uh, well, it's just that the physicists I know are 
indoorsy and pale. I'm not indoorsy. I just wear the appropriate sunblock. You're pale, bro. Love science. Since when? Since always. I, mean, I would ever call you as a geek. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I am, queen of the nerds. <laughs> you know, I have always wanted to see a big science lab. When? Since always. Don't get involved in it. You already lost. Oh, well, we go see it now. Maybe afterwards, we take the bike up the coast. We grab a little bite to eat. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Let me just get my jacket. Boy, she'll do, huh? <laughs> and if you like that type. <laughs> I don't know how you live next door to that without doing something about it. You tried. You failed. Science is my lady. So it was open the door, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just landed. Did you forget your key? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's a lot, my mom. I don't see anything in here a woman would want. Wait, that's not really. Miss, yes, if I were to give you this gift basket based on that. Again? Excuse me. <laughs> now, are we friends, colleagues, lovers? I don't understand what you're talking about, <laughs> and you're making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh wow! Hey, Litter, come join us. Penny is actually in Penny, college. What a surprise! <laughs> oh, university! Yeah. Unbelievable! You know that dark matter isn't going to detect itself. You know? Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about taking the afternoon off so I could. Really? We're we're going to do an experiment? Uh huh. We're going to explore the effects of tequila. Sh Penny, you can't trust this guy, buff. <laughs> It's not an experiment. You saw what happened last night. You ready to go? Yeah. Right. Oh, can I drive the motorcycle? You can't do any worse than Leonard. Ah. Oh. oh no. Wait, that's what I mean, but all sizes. Oh no. Danger was that I might under or over reciprocate. I will open her gift to me first and then excuse myself feigning digestive distress. I'll look up the price of her gift online, choose the basket closest to that value, give it to her. I've just done what Leonard did and get Penny a new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot, man. Okay, I have just one question for you. While I am perfectly happy with the way things are between us, you said that you didn't want to go newsflash, lady. David Underhill is ten times smarter than me. What's up with that? <laughs> is that all? It's really that all. Why are you yelling at oh. me? Sorry. Are you? David is not smarter than Smart guy takes the nude photos of his wife off his cell phone before he tries to take nude photos of his girlfriend. And it did it? Take nude photos of you? That's what you heard? That's what you took from that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Safe. The way things are between us, why are you so jealous? The important thing is he's married and that's terrible. <laughs> Nice save, genius. Yes. <laughs> Rum, stop being eggnog like half an hour ago. Well, it's Christmas, just give me this one. Just don't go and kiss him again. By the way, my leg is killing me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Legend. Oh, good, Penny. You're here to exchange gifts. You'll be pleased to know I'm prepared I really for love you to offer. I really love his top t-shirt, man. Jeez. I should note some digestive distress. So you can go and get your presents, huh? Excuse myself abruptly. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> oh, a napkin. napkin. Turn it over. Oh. Oh. Two what is it? Live long and prosper. Oh, no. Leonard Nimoy. Who's Leonard Nimoy? He came into the restaurant. I need to Sorry, Google it. wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> DNA, DNA, he loves the DNA of Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, but look, he signed it. Do you realize what this means? Oh. All I need is a healthy ovum and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> oh no. I'm giving you is the napkin. <laughs> that is Be right back. Here, open it. Oh, oh. A a certificate for motorcycle. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Yeah, and I checked. Not letting the bike fall on you while standing still is lesson one. <laughs> oh, that I think you'll appreciate. I didn't do my license. Oh, 101 what? totally cool science experiments <laughs> for kids. <laughs> You get it. You get it. You get it. Let me do it again, man. You know, because you're so into science. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Sheldon! No. <laughs> it's not enough, is it? Here. Oh.
<laughs> it's a Saturnalia mm. miracle. It's so good to see Sheldon and Penny relationship keep going. But wait, I, I'm swing. What is Penny? Don't tell me this. I'm just f thinking out loud. Is Penny Penny and Lennon ever gonna go back together? You know what I mean? I wanna no. I don't wanna know. Yeah, again, I'm speaking out loud, guys. I am speaking out loud. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoy this double bubble again. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for going through this journey with me yeah again guys do think about um the membership scheme and also have a thought of any um idea for perks if you have any thoughts of what you want to add to include to the perks let me know thank you for tuning in and we'll see you soon peace